Hi everyone, this is Aswa Mushtaq from the W Vibes and in this lecture I'll explain what are the registers and then how the shift registers actually work, uh, work and how they transfer the data serially. Registers are basically designed using the flip-flops. So flip-flops are the elements that stores one bit of information. Fine. So for storing the n bit of information, you need the n number of flip-flops. And when you combine the flip-flops, you actually get the registers. Fine. A common clock is used for the each flip-flop in a register and each flip-flop will operate as I will describe in the following circuitry. Okay. Now let's see what are the shift registers. Uh, before getting the idea what are the shift register, let's consider the operation of the shifting in the digital electronics or digital logic design. So let's say if I am having a number 1100, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, we know its decimal equivalent is actually 12. How? 1, 2, 4, 8. So 8 plus 4 is equal to 12. Now if I shift this bit pattern towards left by placing the 0 at the LSB position. Fine. I have shifted them towards the left and placed 0 right here. You can see its decimal equivalent would be 1, 2, 4, 8 and 16. So 16 plus 8 is equal to 24. It means 12 has been multiplied by 2 raised to power 1 which is equal to 24. Similarly, as you keep shifting the bits or the given bit pattern, then the corresponding number is being multiplied with 2 raised to power n, where n represents the number of the shifts you are actually providing. Similarly, if you shift a number double one zero zero towards the right, okay, So this 0 will be discarded actually and you can see the 0 is placed at the MSB position. Now at this moment the pattern whose decimal equivalent was 12 is giving us the value now 6 which means the right shift actually equivalent to division by 2. So the number is divided by 2 while performing the right shift. Okay. So the shift registers are, perform are used for performing the same task. Either they will shift the given input sequence towards left or towards right. It all depends how you are actually driving them. Fine. Right now I have drawn a 4 bit shift register that will shift the bit towards the right. And we will see. Here is the input sequence that is given as in 1011 for the corresponding times T0, T1 and T7. Since they all are positive edge triggered D flip flops and the input of each flip flop is being driven by the output of its previous stage flip flop. One thing more you can notice that the output has been assumed initially equal to 0. It means all the flip flops are in the reset stage. Fine. So starting with this input signal. The first input 1 arrives at the time instant T0 at the input of the first flip flop which is equal to 1. You know that when the rising edge of this clock signal will arrive it will force this flip flop to produce output is equal to 1. Okay. While the rest of the flip flops will have the same output value since at that instant their initial value was equal to 0. Fine. Q2 is also equal to 0. Q3 is equal to 0. Q4 is equal to 0. And Q1 is equal to 0. So only this flip flop will produce output equal to 1. While rest of the flip flops will generate output equal to 0. 
similarly for the next time instant t1 at the time instant t1 you can see now the input of the second flip flop is equal to 1 while the flip flop 3 and 4 are having the input equal to 0 so they both will produce output is equal to 0 while this flip flop will produce output is equal to 1 and it will consider the next input which is equal to 0 so you can see this 0 will be shifted right here and 1 will be shifted at the position of q2 while these two flip flops will generate 0 now when 1 arrives at the input of the first flip flop okay what will happen it will produce 1 0 will be shifted here 1 will be shifted to the next flip flop and this will be equal to 0 similarly we can say that now this flip flop will produce output is equal to 1 while this one will be shifted to the next flip flop 0 will be shifted to the next flip flop 1 will be shifted right here while 0 will be discarded similarly we can continue using this pattern 0 then 1 will be forwarded here this one will be forwarded here and again this one will be forwarded here and we will discard this one similarly we will get 0 then this 0 is forwarded over here this one is forwarded here and here so we are basically shifting towards right now we will get 1 0 this 0 and then this one and finally for the last input at the time instant 7 we will get 1 right here this 1 will be shifted here 0 will be shifted here and then this 0 will be shifted here so in this way for the given input se sequence we are getting the output of q4 like that and it has shifted the outputs sequence serially one bit wise towards the right in this way the shift registers actually work